Welcome to Yokomo, an online course on competence-based development for youth workers. What is competence and a competence-based approach? One way to understand competence is as a system of attitudes, knowledge, skills and behavior. Youth workers are learning throughout their professional life, increasing their knowledge, practicing their skills and adjusting their attitudes and behaviors. If this learning is approached more consciously and youth workers embrace a framework and structure for the development of their competences, the results can be more comprehensive. Nowadays, learning is perceived in a dynamic way and learning paths are open and multiple. The focus is moving towards learning as a lifelong and life-wide process with an emphasis on the development of competences. A competence-based approach can be perceived as offering a framework and a process both with the aim to capitalize on learning throughout a whole range of activities and experiences over a longer period. The framework takes into account all types of learning in many different areas and contexts, which can include learning that takes place not only in school, work, volunteering, free time activities, but also learning in household and family, big social and or political changes and so on. Such an approach makes youth workers aware of their own learning and provides opportunities to develop their competences further, starting with considering them one by one to reach a wider learning objective or goal. The process is a series of steps that support going from the general level, for example the system or structure around, to defining the competences and indicators. There are many ways to set up and carry out a competence-based approach, but these can be the core steps. Getting familiar with the chosen competence framework, self-assessing the competences to recognize those already acquired and those that need further development, identifying and taking steps to develop them, self-reflecting and again self-assessing them regularly throughout the overall process and documenting the progress over time. It is also beneficial to be able to use such framework to also express the competence which supports its recognition. A competence-based approach comes with some challenges. It takes efforts to adopt the framework and use it actively for professional development. It is a complex process that requires taking charge of one's own learning and to be a conscious, responsible and lifelong learner. It is, however, very flexible in terms of learning pathways, which allows freedom and opens many different alleys that can be explored. Generally, analyzing one's own learning process gets easier with external help. This means that colleagues, employers and young people can be of support in order to make sense of the identified competences and move forward. A competence-based approach offers many advantages. Anyone can develop their competences and the process can begin at any time. It does not depend on a person's age, intelligence, level of education or personal background. It is inclusive and places equal value on learning, irrespective of its form or where it happens. It can help to strengthen one's motivation to learn since it allows recognizing the strengths and being directly in charge of one's own learning and development. A competence-based approach focuses on what one can do and how it is done, rather than strictly on what one knows, even if these elements are interdependent. This can lead to new possibilities and a much greater flexibility, particularly when it comes to finding a job, because the competences gained in one area or field can be more easily transferred to others. It sets foundations for lifelong and life-wide learning. Learning to work with competences is a competence in itself, and it can be applied in many areas of an individual's life. It is progressive. It starts from what one is already competent in and builds upon that. In such a process, it is still possible, or even important, for an individual to fail. But it is the way this is being dealt with that can be seen in terms of competence development. The only direction to go is forward. We hope this video contributed to you learning about the competence-based development for youth workers.